this video, let us analyze the given graph. Pre-PhD exam score of 10 students is plotted against their MSc marks. Which of the following is true? A. Two students have scored better in pre-PhD than their MSc exam. B. All those students who scored 50 percentage in pre-PhD scored more percentage of marks in their MSc exam. C. Two students scored the same percentage of marks in their pre-PhD and MSc exams. D. The student who scored maximum in MSc is the only student who got maximum in pre-PhD exam. Solution. Given that there are 10 students, let us call the 10 students as S1, S2 and so on to S10 as marked in the figure. Here, the 10 plots in the graph are the corresponding marks of these 10 students in their MSc and pre-PhD exam. For instance, if there is a plot corresponding to x-axis value 40 and y-axis value 30, it means that the students scored 40 percentage marks in MSc exam and 30 percentage marks in pre-PhD exam. Here, the plot 4030 corresponds to the mark of the student who we called S1. Similarly, we can tabulate the marks of all 10 students from the 10 plots given in the graph as shown below. Now, let us analyze each of the answer options based on this table. Consider option A, which tells that two students have scored better in pre-PhD than their MSc exam. It is wrong as only one student S3 has scored better in pre-PhD than MSc exam. Next, consider option B, which tells that all the students who scored 50 percentage in pre-PhD scored more percentage of marks in their MSc exam. It is wrong as S3 hasn't scored more percentage of marks in MSc than his or her pre-PhD exam since his or her MSc exam score is 40 percentage while pre-PhD exam score is 50 percentage. Now, consider option C, which tells that two students score the same percentage of marks in their pre-PhD and MSc exams. It is correct as S2 and S8 scored the same percentage of marks in their pre-PhD and MSc exams. Finally, consider option D, which tells that the student who scored maximum in MSc is the only student to get maximum in pre-PhD exam. It is wrong as S10 is the topper in MSc exam. However, both S8 and S10 are toppers in their pre-PhD exam. Hence, the right answer to the question is option C. Hope you all like this video. For more videos and update on the upcoming free classes, you can be part of a WhatsApp group and Telegram group. To be part of the WhatsApp group, you can just text to this number and to be part of the Telegram group and Telegram channel, you can just search Christie's classes in Telegram. In the Telegram group, daily live free quizzes happen at 9 p.m. on general aptitude. You can be part of that quiz also. And if you want live free classes for general aptitude, you can download an academy mobile application and search this profile Christie Burgess and you can see 300 plus pre-recorded videos and upcoming daily live classes happen at 11 a.m. Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. free classes happen in this profile. So you're welcome to attend this free classes also and more YouTube video details are given here. And these are the details of the full courses or the paid courses in an academy platform, which you can get by taking an academy plus subscription with the referral code CC10. Hope to see you in the upcoming video. Thank you.